What's up, YouTube? This is Aztec Paintball. Welcome to the channel. Today is September 13th, and it is the beginning of Season 10 of The Division 2. We are on Xbox One, and we have just completed the two new legendary missions, Tattle Basin and Manning National Zoo. I'm going to go over high level some of the areas of concerns and how to, to defeat the last two sections of each mission. And finally, we're going to be displaying the two backpack trophies that you get along it. And that is pretty much what you get from Season 10 by completing these two legendary missions. All right, so let's talk about Tidal Basin. So the legendary version of Tidal Basin is actually not a whole lot different than uh, doing it on Heroic. The sections are the same. There's no surprises other than arriving at the hovercraft at the end and uh, after clearing the first section inside um, chungas and enemies will spawn behind you that's the first really surprise of the entire mission then you get to the last section now the last section is a little bit different on pts you could see that the door was open behind them when they were fighting the last boss the last section that door is actually closed also as you will see in the next video, that room is actually filled with gas. So if you stay in it for, for too long without any heals, you're going to get damaged. You're going to get killed. But it's pretty much almost impossible to step out because there's going to be three major turrets that will kill you. And you, it's really hard to get to them until you actually kill everybody. So we actually stayed inside. We had one person that was running jammer pulse for all the drones coming in we also had that same person who was running heals we needed heals in there or we would die uh the other players will be running skill builds i was running the mortars and i was also running the uh, jammer pulse except for when the chungas will come in and i believe there were three different chungas that would make it inside where i switched to a decoy and throw it in front of them so they would turn around and we'd shoot their backpacks. Once we've completed uh, killing everybody uh, from within that room, we went out. All that was left was three turrets. We did not even see a boss. We did not even see a name enemy out there. All we had to do is destroy the panels for the three turrets, which took forever. Honestly, it probably took like 15 minutes each. Once that was done, that was it. Mission complete. The reward for completing Tidal Basin on Legendary was this backpack trophy. Write down in the comment what you think of it and what you would like to see as a reward for completing it. Now, please be kind with the stats at the end. This was day one, first run at it. A lot of discussions and uh, a lot of figuring out at the end, especially at the end of the mission. So, so hopefully we'll beat four hours and 36 minutes and uh, probably 50 plus revives. Now on to Manning National Zoo. Now the zoo was actually a very interesting mission. A longer mission, even though we finished it a little bit sooner. We actually did a really, really good run. It seemed pretty easy with one tank up front one heater and two skill builds to get through most of it the only area of concern was once you take the train and just before the train actually that was actually kind of heavy with a lot of enemies there but once you take the train you're dumped on the opposite side in the bamboo area where you have limited cover there is an emp so your skills won't work very well so you kind of have to stay back and manage there once we made it to the boss at the end, the final um, fight, um, we had one tank, one DPS, and two skill builds, with one of the skill builds having a, uh, a healer hive. Uh, we, wiped, we wiped everybody. There was two regular ch chungas with bleeding backpacks, a lot of dogs, a lot of grenades, a lot of drones. And once we wiped everybody, there is a final wave that comes out. There's two name enemies, one regular Chunga, which is one of those that I already mentioned, um, and a few other enemies. 
But the idea is to wipe everybody, kind of like District Union, where you need to wipe all the other small enemies, and you have time to focus on the two bosses. The one thing that was very surprising is the two bosses did not have Deflector Shield as mentioned or as seen in the PTS version. The best way to destroy and kill these guys is A, destroy their uh, their tanks in the back, which seemed pretty easy. Once that was done, they didn't do a whole lot of damage to us. I actually had switched to a 6 red build uh, manually at that point. And other than blinding you, they wouldn't do a whole lot of damage to you. But they did take a lot of a lot of damage to destroy them. Ideally, what you want to do is have a tank up front that will grab aggro or a decoy to make them turn around. But once you've destroyed the tanks that they have in, in the back, they have a small black box or black section right behind their back. Now, now we believe that that's the area um, that you should be focusing on for the damage. It take it does take a long time to destroy that, but once it's destroyed, they go down quickly. And that is pretty much it. It took us, I would say, probably five, six run of the final boss before we could figure it out, uh, you know, which way to go. Um, for us, what worked well is we had a guy with Heartbreaker that went on the opposite side of the map and kept grabbing aggro there while the DPS and the two skill build will, will stay in the original spawn. And once the final boss uh, did appear, we moved on the right side and we try to clear all the small guys first. But that is pretty much it. Um, it was over the three hours again. Um, bad stats, obviously, less revived, but uh, it was day one. So we have two day one completion on both legendaries. And um, so here's a final video showing uh, me just being behind and using the Bullet King to kill the final boss. And uh, once again, backpack trophy, a giraffe. And that is pretty much all you get from completing Manning and Lash no Zoo on Legendary. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this little bit of information helped. And uh, I wish you luck.